Well, welcome to morning prayer. Uh, we're here again at uh, the season of Epiphany on Monday, the 11th of uh, January 2021. So thank you for joining with us. If you'd like to follow the liturgy, if you just click on the uh, description in the link below, or you can access the Church of England app on your mobile device or computer. So shall we begin? O oh Lord, open our lips and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. Your light springs up for the righteous, and all the peoples have seen your glory. And a prayer of thanksgiving. Blessed you, sovereign God, King of the nations, to you be praise and glory forever. From the rising of the sun to its setting, your name is proclaimed in all the world. As the sun of righteousness dawns in our hearts, Anoint our lips with the seal of your spirit, that we may witness to your gospel and sing your praises in all the earth. Blessed be God, Father, Son and Holy Spirit. Blessed be God forever. And our psalm today, psalm number two. A good psalm for this time of uh, lockdown, our third lockdown. And the refrain, the Lord is the strength of his people, a safe refuge for his anointed. That's us. Why are the nations in turmoil and why do the peoples devise a vain plot? The kings of the earth rise up and the rulers take counsel together against the Lord and against his anointed. Let us break their bonds asunder and cast away their cords from us. The Lord is the strength of his people, a safe refuge for his anointed. He who dwells in heaven shall laugh them to scorn. The Lord shall have them in derision. Then shall he speak to them in his wrath and terrify them in his fury. Yet I have set my king upon my holy hill of Zion. The Lord is the strength of his people, a safe refuge for his anointed. I will proclaim the decrees of the Lord. He said to me, you are my son this day, have I begotten you. Ask of me and I will give you the nations for your inheritance and the ends of the earth for your possession. You shall break them with a rod of iron and dash them in pieces like a potter's vessel. The Lord is the strength of his people, a safe refuge for his anointed. Now therefore be wise, O kings, be prudent, you judges of the earth. Serve the Lord with fear and with trembling, kiss his feet, lest he be angry and you perish from the way, for his wrath is quickly kindled. Happier all they who take refuge in him. The Lord is the strength of his people, a safe refuge for his anointed. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be forever. Amen. And our scripture reading this morning is Paul's letter uh, to the church in Corinth, a church that's perhaps in a bit of disarray. And so we're going to read from 1 Corinthians, and it's actually 1, uh, verse 1 to verse 17, but I'm going to read from uh, verse 10 to 17, and then I'm going to, in the intercessions, pick up on uh, verse 4. So this is 1 Corinthians, uh, chapter, uh, sorry, verse 10 uh, to verse 17, division in the church. I appeal to you, brothers, in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, that all of you may agree with one another so that there may be no divisions among you and that you may perfectly be united in mind and thought. My brothers, some from Chloe's household, have informed me that there are quarrels among you. What I mean is this. One of you says, I follow Paul. Another. I follow Apollos, another, I follow Cephas, still another, I follow Christ. Is Christ divided? 
Was Paul crucified for you? Were you baptised into the name of Paul? I'm thankful that I did not baptise any of you except Crispus and Gaius. So no one can say that you were baptised into my name. Yes, I also baptised the household of Stephanas. Beyond that, I don't remember if I baptised anyone else. For Christ did not send me to baptise, but to preach the gospel. Not with words of human wisdom, lest they, the cross of Christ be emptied of its power. Lest not the cross of Christ be emptied of its power. The power of the cross, see. It's worth just uh, pondering on that question. Well, it's not a question, it's a fact. The power of the cross is everything. If we uh, uh, kind of dismiss the cross, we dismiss our faith because the cross is everything, the cross of Christ. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be forever. Amen. So we come to the Benedictus, the Song of Zechariah. This is the Christ, the chosen of God, the one who will bring healing to the nations. Blessed be the Lord God of Israel, who has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty saviour, born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets, God promised of all to save us from the hands of our enemies, to show mercy to our ancestors, and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath God swore to our father Abraham, to set us free from the hands of our en enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. A new child shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you go before the Lord to prepare his way. To give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of all their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us. To shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death. And to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be forever. Amen. This is the Christ, the chosen of God, the one who will bring healing to the nations. And I always come back to verse 10 of uh, the Benedictus, to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death. And many today will be dwelling in darkness as we're in this lockdown situation. So as we enter our interceding time, let's just um, bring to mind those who we know, perhaps who live on their own, um, uh, you know, really feeling it at this time. Let's just bring them before God. So shall we pray? Yeah, Father God, we do give you thanks and praise for this day, Lord. This is the day that you have made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. Loving Lord, fill us with your life-giving, joy-giving, peace-giving presence so that we can praise you this day and all the days of our life. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. And we do pray, Lord, for those that are struggling during this lockdown period, whether it be in body, mind or spirit, that you would draw ever nearer to them, Lord, and that uh, you would reveal yourself to them in their loneliness.
Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. And uh, I'd like to just pray the Bible and that uh, scripture reading uh, from 1 Corinthians. This is verse 4. Thanksgiving. I always thank God for you because of his grace given you in Christ Jesus. For in him you have been enriched in every way, in all your speaking and in all your knowledge. Because our testimony about Christ was confirmed in you. Therefore you do not lack any spiritual gift as you eagerly await for our Lord Jesus Christ to be revealed. He will keep you strong to the end, so that you will be blameless on the day of our Lord Jesus Christ, God, who has called you into his fellowship with his Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord, is faithful. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Yeah. Paul didn't have to write some lovely letters, full of encouragement, full of joy, just eagerly encouraging us on and on and on. Forget about what we're going through now. It's nothing compared to what's in store for us. The best is yet to come. A good friend of mine was always saying to me, the best is yet to come. And it is, it is. So the collect for today. O oh God, for as much as without you we're not able to please you, mercifully grant that your Holy Spirit may in all things direct and rule our hearts. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Amen. So as our Saviour taught us, so we pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. May Christ, who sends us out to the nations, give us the power of his spirit. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. Thank you, everybody, for joining with me. And I'll see you again.